Golden handcuffs, an interest rate between two and like 5%, perfect interest rate. But it's not perfect if you're not in your perfect home. And what these golden handcuffs do is prevent you from moving to the next house. What I think one should do is take the chance. This is not financial advice, but this is what I would do. I would sell off that mortgage because I feel that mortgage is tying me up, tying me up out of future endeavors, my new home, moves that I need to make, it's tying me up, golden handcuffs. So what I will do is sell that home and make sure that I have reserves for a couple years, maybe even three years. And of course, I'm gonna hope and pray that once I buy this dream home with the big interest rate or a large interest rate, that it will go down gradually and I'll refinance. And then three years later, I'm looking at my home and I'm saying to myself, you know what? I made the right move because I was able to save time by just making the move that I've always wanted to make. What situation are you in? Are you of the mindset that, hey, I'd rather wait it out and when everyone is going to buy, when the interest rates are low, I'll just take my chances, one in like 10 shot? Or would you rather just go for it now and hope that interest rates come down, refinance, and save time. What would you do? Did you hit the button? Yeah, that like button, that subscribe button, that follow button. Talking to you, hit it.